I'm, I'm joined by Daniel Newton after the first 11's uh, 90 run win against Isha on the final day of the season. Um, so we're here for presentation night tonight, um, but we're just going to look back at the season because Daniel was off. Where are you, where are you tonight, Dan? Uh, so I'm actually in Italy uh, with my girlfriend. Apologies for, for not being there. Um, uh, yeah, my bad, but hopefully uh, we can give a, a good summary of, of, what, of what's gone on and enjoy the evening. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> I enjoy that. Um, so so we, f we finished fifth last season, um, which is a pretty good result, I thought. Um, at the start of the season, what were your sort of ambitions for, for the side? Mm. So I think we wanted to finish obviously higher than last year. We want to continue to improve, um, which I think we've done. Initially, I thought we could really challenge at the top of the league, and I, th and I don't necessarily think we're too far away from that. I think there's a couple of games where if they had have gone our way quite early in the season, actually that may have been the case. Um, but certainly an improvement on last year was, was a, a must, and we've, we've done that, so I'm really pleased. Uh, so look at, looking back to the start of the season, I don't know if, if anyone can remember quite that far back. Um, a long time ago. So, so um, where did we start? Start. We started here. Uh, we started against Guildford. Uh, on and I think as the season's been characterised by quite a lot of rain, the weather hasn't been great, and that was no different. I think it was a bit of a wet pitch, um, and we got we got stuck in, I believe. Yeah. Um, and managed to to get from seventy odd six, I think, up to one one seventy, uh, which was fantastic. And again, then with the ball, we we won that game. And actually, that I think characterised quite a bit of the season. There were games when we were potentially struggling with the bat that we, we got scores and, and won, which I think is again a big improvement from what we've done in, in previous years. Um, so yeah, started at Guildford and that was a, a good win, then went to Rygate, which which I think was a massive game for the season, one that I look back on that I think it, we could have done things differently on the day. I think it had them 80 for six, which was, was massive and obviously Cameron Gannon uh, was, was bowling fantastically well. Um, and I think we let a little bit, little bit slip there and we could have, could have potentially won that game, um, but alas, uh, we didn't uh, and ended up a few runs short um, but otherwise I think we came out the first first sort of one day stuff I think pretty well won three out of yeah, three four. Out of four great win at Sutton Liam and, and Tommy batted fantastically well that day um, and yeah a, a pretty 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 good start I think okay um, so so three and one going into the, uh, the time cricket um, did you feel the side coped well with the change of time cricket or mm. So I think there's, and I think I spoke to Arslan, uh, who you'll be hearing from later, uh, about it. We we had take a couple of times, a couple of games to adjust to time cricket, and I think it's happened both years that we've been in the Prem. We haven't quite fitted into the format sort of straight away, and there's been a bit of a lull. So I, I, I to be honest, I can't recall exactly what happened the first couple of time games. The first game was Weybridge, Weybridge here, here yeah. which was a draw, and and I think we we, we played pretty well. And then Ash did away. Ash did away. We didn't necessarily bat as well as we as, as we could. Um, I think there's what well, the challenge with the time cricket is. There's a clear format in the fifty, and then we get the sort of the intensity. We find it quite hard to get the intensity in the in the longer format because we don't really sort of have that same sort of focused approach. I think which which we can definitely work on because um, I think that the twenty four points. That's a huge. It's a huge number, and they really started to add up. And I think that was where we started to, to separate from from Molesy and, and Rygate in the season. Um, but no, I think I think they've been pretty good. It's really good. Um, so, so th through the time cricket, um, was there anyone who sort of stood out through that sort of period of the season? So, I mean, I think it's a big luxury that we have. Uh, well, a lot of left-arm spinners, but I think we've got the the best one in the league, certainly, if not one of the best spinners in the league. Um, and ha getting Tyler back, I can't remember the the game he came back. It was I think for the it time was cricket, for the time cricket, the first yeah. first game of the time cricket. And I mean, I think he's finished second in 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 the league for wickets. Um, he said he says he. I think he was. <laughs> I think he was following it pretty closely. He's finished third. He's finished third. Um, but to do that, having missed missed the first four games, I think just shows shows how good he is. Um, I think he's ended up with three six fers and another five fers. So he's been fantastic, and he really really stood out for us obviously Cameron uh, was here for the majority of the season and I think his influence on the game in terms of he's a quality bowler um, a quality batter uh, and, a, and a quality fielder uh, I think first of all he, he was brilliant but then also he managed to raise us a lot as, as a group and I think we all learned a lot from him 
both in the first team, but I think as a club more broadly as as he was around, whether it was at training or whether it was on on the day. So he was obviously obviously massive, um, yeah. and it was a shame to see him leave. But I think he did a did a fantastic job. On that, I mean, he obviously left a little bit early after, with six weeks to go. You mm. must be pretty pleased that the side was still able to keep that momentum going, even even though we lost the overseas player with with those six games. Yeah, yeah. The season definitely, definitely. So I think the year before we were again coming into the last. I think we lost four out of the last five uh, last year, and again. I think it's four, four, yeah, four, four out of four. Yeah. Four yeah. last five. Yeah. So we were in. And we're in a similar situation again this year in that there wasn't necessarily anything to play for. We weren't in a relegation trouble and we were not challenging to win the league. So there was a danger of that. And I've been super impressed by, by the team in terms of how we've bounced, sort of bounced back and kept momentum throughout the rest of the season. So winning four out of the last six, some great wins, I think, in terms of games that stand out. The win at Weybridge um, was certainly a great game of cricket in that went down to the last ball. Fantastic way it played on the day. Um, so that was, I think, a really big highlight. And one of the things that we need to do as a team is start to beat the teams that are above us and around us, which I think from the year before we didn't necessarily do as well. And I still think that this year we can we can do better, but winning games like that is massive for us in terms of we start to beat the teams that have traditionally finished finished at the top end of the league. And then we really show that that's, that's where we want to be and that's where we are. Plans for next year. So I think I mean continuous improvement is is the is the first and foremost. Um, I think third is a great platform, and again, as as I said with last year, we want to finish above that and we want to continue to to get better. I think that as a group this year, we've matured quite a lot, and how we've been both on and off the pitch, I, I I've absolutely loved. So in terms of that, that 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 that's been great, and I want to continue to to, to build on that. I think we need to find. Um, some, some more seam options I think yeah. uh, where we can can't rely on you <laughs> we definitely can't rely on me uh, so yeah so I think we want to look to strengthen there and and try and find one or two seamers both for from a first team time but also throughout the club as well I think that's an area where we need to look and then I suppose from a from a batting standpoint I think what we've done really well this year is the runs have been pretty pretty shared around and actually we've we've seen different people win games which I think is fantastic for for us as a first team, it's fantastic for us as a club because if we're playing in different sides, we really need to take that experience through. So I think that's it's hopefully something that seconds and thirds and, and fourths can build on for, for next year and that we have more of those guys that, that win games and, and have won games in the first team and, and we'll continue to do that. So that's, yeah, that's what I think. Well, I think all's left to do is thank you for a great season. Thanks very much, Director. <laughs> well Cheers, guys. Enjoy. Cheers.